You may think your workplace training is dynamite, but it may turn out to be a bomb when it comes to connecting with people. It's something I call the easy hike Earl situation. Hi, I'm Ken Oakle. I am a motivational keynote speaker, and I also write books. The latest book is called Get Better, Smart Business Advice from Unexpected Mentors. Each chapter of the book introduces you to a different mentor, and in pretty much all the cases, these are positive stories that motivate and inspire you and give you some good actionable takeaways. For the last chapter of the book, though, I wanted to shake things up. Because I've been around for a little while and I've worked with a lot of people and I realize sometimes there are some bad examples. So I picked three that I wanted to share. Previously, we talked about the boss who so hated interacting with his employees that he used a fire escape to go in and out of his building. That way he wouldn't have any contact with people. We also talked about nickel and dime Danny a guy who so hated his job. They tried to do all these little things to get back at management. Unfortunately, I don't think management ever knew this protest was happening. Now we get to easy hike Earl. Let me set up this scenario. Imagine a conference in a beautiful state. It's springtime. And the conference organizers say, we should take advantage of the outdoors as part of our program. We'll have one afternoon that's open and we'll organize some sort of nature walk, hike, so guests can have an opportunity to get outside, enjoy the wonderful scenic views, the wildlife, all that stuff. The resort is asked to find a guide, and the resort finds Earl. He's an expert, does this a lot. Great. They say, okay, design a hike for our guests. Earl does. Things don't go well. <laughs> Earl is an advanced level hiker, and that's pretty much the people who he usually works with. The convention crowd, mm, for some of them, the hike from their room to the conference center, that's about as much walking as they need to do. The complaints were free flowing, that the route was too steep. Sometimes they had to hold on to ropes and chains as they went around curves on the sides of hills and mountains. And the description of the wildlife it was just too much. People needed an easier hike. It could have been simpler. Here's the thing. You may be really advanced in what you do, but if you need to train people, you need to meet them where they are. In the example from my book, Easy Hike Earl sets up a hike that would be fun for him, but he never thought, hmm, can these guests handle it? What's their level of fitness? What are they looking for? Another example could be, does someone want to put their toes in a swimming pool or do they want to swim competitive laps? Both things happen in a pool, but they're not the same. It's really important to do your homework ahead of time to make sure you are going to meet expectations and not overwhelm people. When people feel like they're overwhelmed, they tend to tune you out, they get mad. This is so important for workplace training. You may be an expert in your field, but some of your employees, it may be foreign to them. They may need easier opportunities to learn different frameworks. You figure it out, but make sure you're doing that homework. You'll have a much better outcome. In the story I tell, the hotel, the resort, it never used Earl again. It was a bad experience for everyone. For more about me and my book, go to kenokel.com. That's my website. Well, there you can also check out some clips from my speaking presentations. Let's say you're like, Ken, I need this book right now. Okay. Hey, we love to hear that. Go to amazon.com. A couple clicks. Boop. It'll be coming to you in no time. You can also get the Kindle version if you need instant access. Thanks so much for watching this series. Take care and get better.